Yeah, so net present value and DCF are very similar. Typically, when you're looking at discounted cash flows, you're only analyzing what money goes in and what money goes out. So there's not really a place for things like risk or things like future lost production where net present value, you can absolutely throw those things in. You'll want to go to your accounting department for what your discount rate is. And that really, your discount rate, typically it's something in the neighborhood of eight to 10%. Let's say I give you $108 next year. What's that equivalent to worth now? And usually like when we're talking about a discount rate of 8%, we would say $100 now is worth $108 next year. You can see like if you get way out into the future, you know, where Shadrach's showing us 10, 11, 12 years, 20 years, it stops really making much of a difference to the value right now. And so that's where it kind of front loads a lot of the costs or the value of your project. There's a part of my role that I have to evaluate um, on an annual basis, all of the, the capital requests, and I'm getting, you know, 50, 60 requests a year. And so to level set against what the uh, return on investment is or CPA is we've you know, developed an internal tool similar to what Rob is talking about. So let's say we have a project where a reliability engineer says they have been working with production and there's an opportunity for us to reduce some of our raw material costs. And in this particular plant, we purchase compressed air from a supplier. And so they propose a project that says if we go and install these new air compressors, we can reduce this cost, you know, from the supplier. Um, and it's going to cost us a million dollars to uh, purchase the equipment, the labor. So the benefit of it is about a $1.2 million per year. And so you would say just at face value, hey, if I, if I invest a million dollars, I get back $1.2 million annually. That's a great project, right? We should be doing it right away. But like Rob mentioned, there's a lot of factors that you, you have to look into, right? Uh, what's the expectancy of the life of the equipment? And in our case here, there's going to be incurred operating costs. So today, we're not spending anything against uh, you know energy because we're purchasing air directly from the supplier. So we have to consider what the additional energy cost is. So we have you know a, a tool that we built to, to factor in all of those elements or those inputs, and we look at the value weighted over time. So in, in typical cases, we say a, an asset, it depends on the type of asset. It can be anywhere from five to 10 to 20 years uh, life expectancy in our depreciation schedule. But in this case, we, we chose to use 10 years. And if we make this investment, that NPV or that, that present value is gonna be 3.8, low 3.8 million dollars for us across the, the 10 year span. Typically, we like to look for projects that are in the DCF range of around 10, 20% ish. There's gonna be some cases where you get some uh, projects like this one, which I think, you know, it is a slam dunk. It's a project that we should really consider and doing if we can um, afford the, the capital to do so. But I wanted to share this example because there are a lot of considerations that have to go into how you evaluate whether or not a project is going to be supported. <laughs>